my brothers and sisters. How are you? Future's still very bright. We got to wear shades. The best is yet to come. Where we go one, we go all. Guys, it's getting really good. It's getting hot, right? Christmas in July. Um, but I do have a word for you from God because that's my primary responsibility here. And uh, also to teach you how to get your prayers answered, which is to believe they've already happened. I did see miracle signs and wonders this morning. Uh, we saw both the male and the female cardinal. Um, and I know that is my miracle sign. So maybe you have one of your own. Comment down below if you have a miracle sign where we're... God is telling you this is our season for the RVGCR or whatever it is you're invested in or whatever it is you're doing. You know, this applies to anybody at any time because we're all God's kids. So this is my encouragement to you. Uh, I felt really led to do this now. That was a spider. Okay, I don't like spiders. <laughs> when you work, when you do this outside. I think he fell through the slats on the porch, which is good. He's down there. Uh, Psalm 20. <laughs> I'm going to give you a word and I'm going to use some encouragement. And I don't have my affirmations with me, but I will walk through some of the affirmations I tell myself on a regular basis and give you some examples of why they're necessary right now. Um, <clears throat> Psalm 20. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. You think this is a day of trouble? I think it is. May the name of the, of the God of Jacob set you up on high and defend you. Send you help from the sanctuary and support, refresh, and strengthen you from Zion. Remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. Selah. Pause and think of that. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May he fulfill all your plans. We will shout and triumph at your salvation and victory. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in and boast of chariots and some of horses, but we will trust in and boast of the name of the Lord our God. They are bowed down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright. O Lord, o Lord, give victory. Let the king answer us when we call. That is Psalm 20. Isn't that yummy? What I prefer to, to highlight today is verse 4. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all of your plans. So guys, whatever your plans are, whether it's your business, God is fulfilling all of your plans. If you're with me in the RVGCR, say amen. If you're not and you just are looking for encouragement from the throne room every morning, this was it today. I wasn't even sure this morning I had nothing. Like I, I wasn't sure if I'm, I'm kind of on vacation uh, in this season because he's telling me to rest before you have to run. There's gonna be a lot going on, right? So I am to rest as much as possible. Um, and I just want you to know that, well, here's 19 verse seven, the law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the whole person. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. Guys, God is in control of everything, right? He's in control of your life, my life and everything. And as long as he's in control, you don't have to worry. You don't have to fear. Right? Somebody commented uh, below, you know, worries, one of the worst things you can, yeah, it's not, we're not to worry. We're not supposed to fear. He's our provider. Give you an example. Uh, some of my affirmations is all the money I spend comes back to be multiplied because it's part of God's principles. When you're giving into the kingdom, when you're sowing into the kingdom, um, there goes an oil truck. I'm glad I don't need oil right now. <laughs> That season's coming. Okay, the reason why I'm not doing this live, guys, is I'm on the porch because I have to be outside in summer. I'm an outside girl. I just have to be outside. It's like I spend, I've got the fan set up there. I've got a good setup out here on the porch. Um, I'm a little spacey still because I still have this head cold, but I'm much better. Why? Because our AC unit for our bedroom that we usually put in this time of year was not working. My husband tried everything. It was not working. We haven't had it very long. We've had it like two or three years and it's gone. So um, we bought a new AC unit. 
And the funny thing is, is uh, let me just share with you how good God is right now. My husband was like, you know, they're not going to be available till tomorrow. And he's working a, a weird shift today. And I said, no, they'll be available now. And I just knew, right? Because God told me, help him make a decision. Help him acquire this. And I'm like, no, honey, I think they're going to be available tonight. And then all of a sudden, I said, just order it. Click order. Here, choose that one. Just click order. Put it on our card. We've always got money in there, right? Um, and we'll trust that it'll be done. Meanwhile, I'm going to go shower, right? He was going to make dinner. I can't remember the order of things. I can't remember the order of things. I no sooner get in the kitchen. I haven't even gone to shower. I get a text. Your order's being processed now. And he goes, why did they text you? Stranger things have happened, right? And then it was not, it'd be 10 minutes later. Your order's ready for pickup. I got the text. I said, okay, honey, you go pick it up. I'll go shower and make dinner. And I'm telling you guys, it was miraculous timing. Even he was stunned that he was able to pick it up. Like, guys, miracles, signs, and wonders are everywhere. When you open up your eyes to see them, this morning, he was practicing the ukulele, and I'm spending as much time as I can with him because he's got a crazy hours coming up this weekend. He works a lot in the summer, right? So it's still our anniversary, kind of. We're still celebrating because both of us were really sick yesterday. <laughs> It's kind of a crappy, but I made the best of it, right? I enjoy everything. I really understand what it must have been like for Paul. Uh, you know, he wrote three quarters of the New Testament in prison, in prison, right? So guys, no matter what you're facing, you're not in prison. If you're watching me, you're probably not in prison. If you are, comment down below. That would be really interesting. But, but so you can rejoice that you're not in prison. Right? You can rejoice that through all the things that happen, you learn that God is sovereign. He is sovereign, and through Him, so are you. So you're a sovereign human being. Keep that mindset. Sorry, my, my new bracelet that I love, this is a new bracelet. I've had it for a while, and I wore it last night, and I really like it. It's leather, and uh, I had to reattach it. it it's annoying because it doesn't stay clasped. Anyways, that's my stuff. Guys, I love you. I did this recorded so that I could reduce the background noise. I can't go live on this porch because this time of day, right? So I love you. We've seen a lot more from me this weekend. I'll probably be going live. I don't know when. I misspoke when I said, oh, I'll go live between 7 and 7.30. The very next day was our anniversary. And um, You know, I'm really excited. To go live when I'm living on the river instead of across the street. And when I'm on my oceanfront property, right? What are your dreams? What are your visions? Because guys, all your dreams are about to come true. All your plans are about to be fulfilled. I don't know about you, but I've been in this RVGCR thing for 10 years. I'm looking for it to be fulfilled. Also, all the cryptos were rising yesterday. I mean, exploding yesterday because people are waking up, right? It's a good sign when the cryptos are exploding. Exploding. Exploding because they know... Everything else is rigged against you, right? Like, that's all I can say. And when I go live, by the way, they're not monetizing me fully. So I don't know what's up with that. So I have to I have to dig into that because we need all the resources we can get right now, as I'm sure you feel too, right? I'm like, you know. So anyways, I love you. Thank you for watching. Please comment down below if you've hung out this long. Please comment down below. Money is coming because it is in abundance to the full till it overflows right so guys if you feel like supporting my work here there's there's going to be links down below where you can donate there's also a super thanks button it's a little heart with a dollar sign in it that's a super thanks button um i don't care if you want to donate just just do whatever the lord is telling you to do i would never tell you to do anything else i'm still gonna be coming here i've created 1500 videos for free way i was not monetized for like a long time so obviously i'm still gonna be here no matter what happens I love you. Thank you for watching. We're going to get through this together, right? Whatever happens, we'll get through it together and you're going to thrive instead of just survive this stuff, right? God bless you. Have a good day. And remember, I will keep you apprised of anything going on. And I really think now is our time. God bless you.